In this video I'm going to show you how to control X10 modules using an Arduino and a firecracker module. And then later I'm going to show you controlling the Arduino with Modbus using an HMI. So the firecracker module, it is a model CM17A. These things are pretty cheap on eBay. Of course, X10 is kind of an older technology, but these things are really cheap on eBay, so that's why I love it. It was meant to run out of a serial port on your computer. Computers don't even have serial ports nowadays. But anyway, this uses RF to talk to one of those modules, and it in turn will use the signals over the power lines to turn stuff on and off. The I found a cool Arduino library that can control this guy and it uses ground on pin 5. Pin 2 of the Arduino is pin 7 and then pin 3 is pin 4. There's a demo program running right now and it's pretty simple. You can see it's using the library pins 2 and 3 and it's gonna give it a command on, dim, 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 bright, 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 off. And then it'll wait for eight seconds. The only thing I did have to modify is uh, in firecracker.cpp, um, this said wiring.h, that's the older library. I guess now in Arduino 1.0 or whatever, it's wiring underscore private.h. So I had to change that, throw that in there, the other thing I had to change was this is house A, this is module 3, which happens to be what is these lights are. We'll wait for it to start. Okay, so on, dim, then it'll brighten, then off. Pretty slick. So that's pretty slick. Uh, the library works very well. However, what I really want to do is be able to remote control my lights. So, You can do it. Let's turn the fan in the corner on. So what I did is I, I merged the um, Firecracker code in with a Modbus library, and then I'm sending Modbus commands to write to them. And what you saw on my phone was the HMI I was using. It's a free, uh, it's an open source SCADA BR. It's uh, developed um, by a website, and their website is in Braz Portuguese, so it's not. It can be a little intimidating at first, um, but I have some videos up on how to install Mango. This is derived from Mango, but it's um, got a couple years more uh, stuff in it since Mango stopped being developed. So, um, you can see my displays, and then I have a data source over here for Modbus. And I have a lot of registers coming in. So basically, these are coils. Uh, the address of the Arduino is 10. And then you just write uh, 1 to these numbers, and the Arduino will uh, send the command, and it'll set them back to a 0. Let's look at the Arduino sketch really quick. Um, I have other videos on how to set up your uh, Arduino with the Modbus library. Right now we're actually taking two of the registers and running the firecracker 
all the other registers can still bring in discretes in and out and analog in and out. So anyway, I'm just going to zip through here. Um, go to my website if you want to download this stuff. So we're going to include the Modbus slave uh, libraries. We're going to include the Firecracker library, set up the Firecracker. And then here um, is where we set up uh, all of the registers. So there are uh, digital input registers, digital output, which are coils. And here's where I added a bunch more coils. Uh, 10 through 41. And I actually ended up only adding five uh, five devices, but let me show you how this works. Analog inputs, analog out. So right here is where we read the register bank and that's what can be written to um, from the your HMI system. Well we read that reg bank and if it's true we're going to send a command. This is the X10 command. We're going to send it to home A, the device number one, and we're going to tell it to turn on. So all you have to do is write a true to that register and it will turn that device on. And then after we do that, it, we set that register back to zero. If you notice Let's go back here. Whenever we write, it'll take a, a second and then it gets turned back off by the Arduino. So it's communicating fairly fast. Let's go and turn it back on. So I think that's it for this video. I've got so many things to do with my home automation system that um, I think I'm going to start banging out quicker videos. You're going to have to just look through my other videos to learn exactly how it was all done. Um, if you want to know how to install SCADA VR, I'm going to do a video on that. Uh, right now though, you can check out the Mango installation videos, they're almost the same thing. Um, and then eventually I'm going to install it on Linux. I actually have it running on this little left uh, tablet. The nice thing about that is this is a low power, can't hear the fan. I think it's something I could just leave running as my server and it's not just going to be heating up the room. So Linux is my uh, new challenge to learn. Cheers.